Ah, oh, so gassy. To Curiosity Public, I'm Dutch. Jules here. Dylan. Welcome to another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition. And also welcome to uh, one of our newer episodes here where we're going to be doing a little bit of a different format on our review. So you're actually going to see our review. We're going to go through all the categories. We've got some new special content for members only that will be at the, uh, for them only. We're going to film that at the end. Um, and if you want to become a member, Hit that join button down below and you can see that bonus footage. But in this episode, we're getting into one of my favorite spirits, which is Woodford Reserve. Right. Brands, I should say. Sorry. <clears throat> this is their 16-year-old bourbon. Because you see that big 16 right there? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. That says number 16. Wow. No, this is their very fine rare bourbon. It is not 16-year-old bourbon. It is 90.4 proof, 45.2% alcohol there's a nice little literature card here that has uh, information about it but we don't need a literature card because we got dylan yeah. and he's going to tell us everything we need to know about all this. right so this is a treat first of all because when i tasted this the first time i was blown away i was just blown away because it had a specific intent and i felt like i i made a connection it was like an almost like an academic orgasm right it was like did lightning strike your brain? It was it was an incredible experience. Wait, I didn't because going to start laughing. <laughs> it was an Academic incredible e e experience because I felt like I learned something while I was drinking. Oh. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a background. So this is uh, Brown Foreman, obviously Woodford, very famous. Uh, no age statement, but it's thought to have. I mean, it obviously says very fine, rare bourbon, right? So anywhere between like even old as seventeen year to really? much younger, and we don't know what the percentages are, obviously. Uh, mash bill is thought to be 72 corn, 18 rye, and 10 malted barley. Now, the price is about 100 to $130. I got this for about 100 bucks or so. Um, the Master's Collection, I mean, obviously, this was being released in the past in a different bottle. The Master's um, Collection. Right. So starting this year, I think all of the Master's Collection is going to be in this, in this style. What do you guys think about the design? I like it. It looks really good on the on the shelf. I like it too. Yeah, and then so the the idea is that starting from 2020, all the collections will focus on modern innovation by the master distiller Chris Morris and the assistant master distiller Elizabeth McCall. Now, I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you. I thought this Say was it again. such. Uh, I have a surprise. <laughs> it's like for you. Candyman. <laughs> this I thought was so interesting, so interesting that I said, you know what. I can't just hoard this myself. So I went out and... She got a sample size bottle. <laughs> I got you guys... What? A bottle <laughs> each. <laughs> Holy oh, crap, dude. For your... It feels like Christmas. For your studies. Okay. Wow. So we have, to re we have to write a book report on this? Right. Because I was like, okay, I can't... I'm hoping I can't... to achieve an academic orgasm. After, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after I tried this, I said, you know what? You need to have this so that you can learn, wow. right? You need to have this. I said, you know what? I got to share this. So I, <laughs> I had to. Dude, thank you, Darren. Really That's much. very nice of you. Seriously, you never so do anything kind. nice. Now you, can add it, now you can add it to your collection. So anyway, we can move Dude. on. All right. Uh, now I have 11 bottles on my <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get tasting. Oh, wow. Mm. It's not what you thought, huh? Mm -mm. It's totally different, right? I don't see you guys having academic <laughs> orgasm, so. <laughs> I'm internalizing it. <laughs> when I had this the first time, it was so clear to me. Oh, I said, wow, you know, the, the master distillers really hmm. figured it out. And I can understand why it also splits the community hmm. because this was not reviewed very well, right? And, and I get it because most people, I think, equate good to sweet mm. or you know 
the the kind of the classic flavor profile that you're used to in quote unquote bourbon. But this is not that. Yeah. This is very, very unique. And, and yeah. this is why I think it was worthy of a special release. Mm -hmm. This can't be released as a general general kind of... I have, I have a name for this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll release it in a minute. <laughs> You'll it release it? Very fine rare. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shoot, I got to finish scoring this. I don't know how the hell I'm going to score it. Yeah, it's hard. I need, I need a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, I killed it. I poured a little light, but no, this is one where I need to have a few more soaps. Need more? Yeah, that was awesome. I also want to see if it opens up a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I, I'm laughing because Dutch is laughing. <laughs> I, I saw Jules' score. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. All right. All right. We've had some time to taste. We've all scored it. We haven't talk to each other about our scores yet we're about to do that but first i want to tell you guys a little bit more about curiosity private it'll just take a second because we're changing up curiosity private now instead we used to show the breakdown videos of of our discussion of every category that's what we're going to do now in these main videos but for our curiosity private members at the end of this we're going to film a quick little side by side between this bottle and the regular woodford which dylan has down there um, to give our kind of com quick comparison between the two. So if you guys want to see that kind of content, consider becoming a member of Curiosity Private by hitting that join button. And thank you to all our members. You want to tell everybody about our scoring system? Oh, sure. I forgot. We still got to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I have a 100-point grade system across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. We do uh, weigh flavor at twice, so at 20 points, and aesthetics of value at, by half at five each. All right, guys. So let's start with our scores. I gave it an 86. Wow. 72. You know what? Completely expected. Completely <laughs> expected. I gave it an 89. Wow. Okay. So, all right. I'm glad I wasn't way off the mark. Yeah. I thought I was going to be completely out there because I'll admit, I'm, I'm a Woodford fanboy. Yeah. And this thing is, I'm going to just say it now. This is a, a treatise on spice. Yeah. This is not, this is not Woodford. And in fact, this is it's what right. I did. After I had this, I thought, did I get a fake bottle? Right. And then I said, okay, this is, I, I haven't had a, like a regular wood for in years, unfortunately. Yeah. It's so I, I went and grabbed the regular Woodford, I poured it, and I started trying both of them at the same time. The same said, proof point. Mm. Yeah, it's like, oh, man, man, this is, I get it now. I completely mm. get it. So I'm, I'm excited to yeah, discuss it. I, I am too. Well, let's kick off our discussion with the aroma. I love the aroma. It's, it's I got amazing. Yeah. all these amazing spice flavors. I got a cherry. I got like a, a black pepper was yeah. really prominent, right. but it was a, a brown sugar in there as well. It was a nine. A nine. I get a seven. I was getting a lot of the spice. I wasn't getting that much of the sugar components. I mean, it was there. It was hidden. You know, it's mm. there. It's not like, a, you know, it's completely absent. The thing is, this is like but, a nose of a barrel proof. Yes, and but I I want to I want to kind of defend Jules for a little bit. I know that's a little strange. That is strange. I feel like your response is what the community's response was. I agree. Mm, and yeah. and when I kind of heard about that, I was hesitant to put, pick this up. Mm. But I said, you know what? I, I need to learn. And I, I tried it, and I said, I get it. I understand why you're scoring it this way. Yeah. I get it why it's not as popular as I think it should be. Um, and I'm hoping that I can kind of explain why as we go through the, the different categories. And full disclosure, I have not had Woodford in a long time. Right? Uh, I, well, I want to say maybe a year. For the number of flavors I was getting on the nose, I mean, it, I see it as higher than a seven. You know sure. what I? You know what I'm? Um, the, the aroma is not a bourbon uh, aroma profile. It is. It to is. Me. It is a rye. Mm. A rye I was a lot aroma of profile that has yeah. been aged. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna bury the leader a little bit. My my personal feeling on this is that they could have released another high proof, you know, the same Woodford whatever, which which they do right with the their batch, master, yeah. yeah, the batch proof. Um, that is good, but it's kind of boring because it's the same thing, right? You get sweet, you get rich, you get you know all the fruits and things like that. And if you're you mean, a master, you mean the bourbon that you like better than Stag, right? Sure. Uh, you know, we'll see if that's still true. We should do a blind, blind on that. All right. So I, what I'm saying is, look, 
it, you know, the master just sort of probably thought, okay, how do we come out with something that's so unique mm. that it's not the same old variation on a theme? Same which, profile. you know, yeah. to be frank, we've been doing this for a long time and it does get a little stale. Everything gets, everything, you know, everything is sweet, yeah. right? Everything is sweet. Everything is this rich. Is something else. Yeah. And I think what they did was, and this is, and, and I hope um, the master distillate never tells us exactly what his intent was so that I could be right. So I, my, my thinking is, he wanted to basically address the rye, kind of the rye rise in fame in the last 10 years. Everybody's going rye crazy, right? Yeah. But they come out with bourbon. That, that's their flagship. So how do you put rye and, and that like fame and mm. kind of the, the rise in popularity in a bourbon profile? And I think what they did was... They created the rye flavor profile right at the core, okay? But they stripped away all of the harshness, the medicinal stuff, the yeah. stuff that There's people no don't... There's no medicinal yeah, yeah, people that don't like rye, the reason why they're put off by rye and they want to move back to bourbon is because all the stuff that's around it. So it's like a banana that they peeled off. So they had this core rye. And then what they added to it was the length, right? Yeah. So because they had the older aged liquor... They use that to blend, and what you have is a surrounding flavor profile of bourbon, and you have that rye kind of stinging out and punching you in the face. Mm. And this is an example of an extra kind of long finish, well balanced rye without the harshness in a bourbon flavor profile. That to me was just a revelation. I said, "Wow, I I never thought that I would be able to experience something like this." So specific and i said thank you master distiller this is why i love them blending stuff i want them to blend something for me where i go oh, i have a revelation right so that's what i'm saying all right wow interesting discussion of aroma guys let's move on to <laughs> <laughs> to flavor all right uh i gave it a 17 i give it a 15 i give it an 18 and so I, let's explain why jules is wrong yeah no 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 i'm gonna explain why jules is expected so i think again uh, you and the rest of the community, they didn't get the sweetness, right? Yeah. They they felt like, oh, you know, this is this is supposed to be a bourbon. I want the bourbon flavors. Yeah. Uh, again, ra yeah. reminder: this is a special release from the master distiller. I get some sweetness. No, I do too, I but cherry. it's not it's not it's the, not in it's your not an expected yeah. bourbon it's, sweetness. It's though. not also it's not the forefront. The sweetness no, comes in later. Very, very right. And on the back of the palate, I was getting this almost like cherry candy. Yeah, mm. it, it, it's really. Interesting. It's yeah. it's a it's one of those things where again, it, you would never give this to somebody if they're if they say, oh, I want to try a bourbon. Oh, yeah. Like you never no, do that. No. Right? This is. I mean, this is a. Yeah, it's a, a lot to tease out. It's of an this. analysis of flavors because it. What I loved about the flavors on the palate was spice, spice, spice. Okay, you know, if I kind of shut my mind off now, here's this cherry, cola sweetness coming through on the back end. It right. just was. Man, you could I could sit here sipping this for hours, really just studying it, and and, and uh, again the aroma and the and the palate is so interesting. I agree. Like it's so sweet, and then the palate doesn't have that overwhelming sweetness. Sometimes you don't want like that dessert that's so yeah. sweet that it's like you know cloyingly sweet. Yeah, it doesn't have that. So what was it lacking for you? Just the sweetness. Uh, well, it's 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 more on the like, the anticipated profile, and that's exactly it. Like again, so you there was a bias. lot to absolutely. I am judging this, yeah. <laughs> hence my bias. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's one of those where um, I guess I wasn't, uh, I didn't anticipate having to work so hard at finding it. Hmm. But if you work hard at it, you still give it a fifteen. In flavor, yeah, because I tried again with the second pour even, and it's one of those where it's like <sighs> you can't get past the spice. It's, spice. I mean, it's not that I can't get past it. It's just you why don't I have to. Get past I don't. It. Yeah, okay. exactly. This, this is not a bourbon, like in the traditional definitely sense. Not in the I, traditional definitely sense. Not. I would push back on that. I kind of think it is. I think it's just it's no. just certain levels are turned up more. Those other bourbon sweetness flavors are there. They're just behind these other layers. I, I think the the core rye flavor that people long for when they just reach for a hundred percent rye right. is right at its core. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's so prominent that you can't get away from it. And if you don't like it that in the first place, I think this is where you're like, yeah, oh, okay, this fair. is not kind of working out. Well, let's keep moving, guys. we got a lot of categories to get through here. Body, I gave it an eight. I give it an eight. I give it a seven. Okay, so we're not that far off. Yeah. I, I, 
there was like a couple of sips where I felt maybe this is a little bit thin, but yeah. everything that coated my mouth wasn't bad. It was, mm-hmm. I understand the seven. Yeah. I want a higher proof. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit, I, I, even like uh, 10 points higher, yeah. even at like 95 90. to 100, this would be right. pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, complexity. I found this uh, very complex. I give it a nine. I give it an eight. I give it a 10. Okay. This is what I this is what I expect right. in a interesting complex bourbon. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna pay this much money, I want to be wowed and I want to have a journey. And yeah. this gave me a journey. The, the point off that I gave it was there wasn't a, enough flavor components on the sweet side. There was a lot on the spice, and I loved that. But all I got was kind of like this cherry One brown cherry sugar thing. Depth. I felt like I it was, it was yeah. missing a little bit of depth on the. Yeah, side. I, again, you're not you're not getting that um, kind of the stewed fruit, the jam, jam. No, and jam. then you can't like uh, delineate those. Yeah. But to me, I felt like again, the balancing act of the rye and the bourbon and that kind of the chewy, yeah. grainy flavor. Um, well, you just have like the variety that that. Let's let's talk about balance. Let's okay. move on to balance. Yeah. Um, I gave it an eight. I give it a six. I give it a ten. This this is this is the this is a perfectly balanced. No, it's not yeah. perfectly yes, balanced. Yes, it is. I'll, I'll push yes, back it on is. that. I'm with Again, you. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it, it is. is not. They they achieve when you the just intent. said like they I have to tease intent. at it, I have to work at it. Yeah, it, it is not you know what? balanced. This, this tells me that I'm so glad that I gave him this bottle. <laughs> Because he's got to well, just. Well, I'd love there. to see what oh, Jules, totally gonna be how Jules <laughs> would reevaluate this after like right. six months of sipping on. I mean, me too. I mean, I would love. No, to I, I think it's going to be the same. I honestly, <laughs> I, I, I've had this for a while now. I've been sipping on it little by little because I wanted to. I, I thought I was, you know, like hallucinating. I thought, like, well, I thought it was. Let's know. see what we think was lack. What did you think was lacking? You scored at the lowest. Yeah, well, I, I just or was think, like, mismatched at least. Again, it, you know, it was mostly again missing a lot of like the sweet components. You know, a, a lot of it was you do get the rye core, and you know, and it's exactly what I expected. So I'm getting a lot of the spice. I'm getting different levels of that too, which was great. But a lot of the big mix was more, more on the sweetness. I kept only sticking to maybe brown sugar, and I was only in that realm. Some cherry, but that was it. I was missing a lot of like the, the jam, stewed fruit kind of component mm-hmm. that I normally would get, where I would find it to be more balanced i i don't completely agree with you i i do feel like the spice i feel like the sweet was there like i described earlier it's underneath all the spice i had to work a little bit too hard to get to it is what i felt like and i felt like also it was like man we've tried a ton of stuff we're pretty experienced at tasting spirits and it took me quite a bit of effort to get it yeah so that's why i did dock it a little bit and and i think an eight's a fair score okay i i'm gonna i'm gonna push back again at this proof they could have screwed this up they could, this, have. they could have screwed this. This, this, this could have been. This could have been. This could have been a rye failure. And only, this yeah, could have been yeah. a rye failure. It could have been, and it didn't. And it did. and again, you, I mean, this is a, this fair. is a this is a message for the master distiller. You're wasting it on them. Just send me the stuff. I'd I'd love to try. I'd love to try all the experiments. I, I'd love to taste it. Why is Dylan it is on a show, waste yeah. over here. It is a waste over here. I feel like you're a judge at the. Competition. Ooh, it's like, just send me all the stuff that. and I'll give you gold. You <laughs> make us that, yeah. Okay, guys, let's keep moving here. Finish. Um, I love the finish on this. I gave it a nine. That's where I started to get the sweetness, mm. and that's why I elevated it. My first couple of sips, I was like, ah, it's not much here, but then I started to get that cherry sugar on the finish, and I was like, whoa, that's mm. interesting. No, I got, I gave it a six, because there wasn't much there, and, it, like, and I was hoping that there would be more, and in fact, I felt it trailed off really quickly for me. You know, I get it. I get it. I give it an eight. Yeah. I give it an eight. Um, I thought it was good, right, but what, this is the reason why I had to dock a couple of points mm. here. So I felt like the balance that was there on the initial taste starts to go away as it finishes. I had the complete opposite. It fades and, and, and so quickly. So so I think I'm getting some of what you're describing. Yeah. And that's why it was I you know well, again I gave tens on the other ones, right. but this one is where I, I think, think of it, it as like of, a funnel. Right? So mm. the finish it's a long funnel. So yes, it does get muted, but you're left with these very like additional flavors coming in. They are turned down a bit, but it's, I thought it was quite long. Right. What you're saying is that the finish is like proportionally um, kind of reducing not, not proportionally the, the the spice significantly reduced mm. and I started to get more of the sweetness but it, 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 it definitely got muted it got turned down a lot but it did last for quite a while I, still I felt like it, it skewed a little bit I felt it skewed yeah, a little bit yeah but I thought because of the length and because I got new flavors in it that's why I bumped it up for me okay guys let's keep moving uniqueness 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 I give it an 8 yeah well, we're all pretty high I, yeah I, this is what I want 
this is something weird. This is something it's, out there. It's, it's weird and it's strange, definitely different. and I love it. I love it I, because it's something that's so unique on my shelf. It, well, it, uh, nothing else tastes like yeah, this. Yes, there's no taste like this. That's a great point. This is uh, nothing uh, tastes like this. He's got to go. Up. Yeah, no, you're right. I get it. You're right. No, I was already tuned on that. It's amazing because, again, like I said, what this, you end up this at? is not nine. This is not something that you give to kind of like casual drinkers. Agreed. Totally it, it, agree. They won't like it. It's just it's just not it's, it's not what they would expect. <laughs> All right, guys, drinkability. Um, there's a lot of spice here, but I, I find this quite drinkable. I give it a nine. I give it an eight. I gave it an eight. Hmm. I gave it an eight. Well, uh, let me defend my point here, though. I mean, I'm only a point higher than you guys, but because also of the academic exercise, I want to keep drinking this. This mm. is the kind of whiskey that I love to keep drinking. Something where every time I take a sip, I can tease something else out. That to me, I mean, it's a different kind of drinkability. It's not like I can sit back and just chug it nonstop, but I could spend all night pouring dram after dram of this and just analyzing it. Yeah, the reason I gave it an eight was because of this previous year. Like, I do go back to this because it's so interesting, but it's not my daily. It's almost too I much. I never, yeah, I never think yeah. about it as that's like, hard. oh, I need I, to go back to it. So that's I, I, I understand the A, but I just, to me, it was a little more than that. Yeah. No, I mean, part of it, too, is I do need a reference point. Now I'm really curious to try it. With, back to back. Yeah, me too. That, that's what I did. Yeah. Well, we got to do exactly it. We got to do it. It's that exercise, and that's where it gets, I think you, you will know, have another I revelation. I am intrigued with that. All right, guys. Aesthetics. I like the bottle redesign. It's a four for me. Four. I give it a five. I really like it. It looks great on my shelf. Um, I can see a five. I just, it wasn't, it didn't, wow. It didn't blow me away enough to give, to get it. I'll know. tell you a secret. I actually have another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm totally we not don't surprised. Doubt that. We don't know that. Uh, finally, guys, value out of five points. Uh, it's still pricey. I gave it a three. I give it a three. I give it a three. All right, so we all agree. I, I don't one. think this is a, this is a bargain. It's, it's not, not a bargain, bargain. by any bargain. means. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that if you are one of those folks that are always searching for something very unique yeah. and something that kind of uh, takes yeah. you off guard. This is good. This is it, yeah. Okay, guys, let's get our final scores. Uh, we did change a little bit. I, I stated in 86, you went up. 73. 89. 89, all right. So, our official Curiosity Public score for Woodford, 16-year-old. Get on the board. <laughs> no, sorry, number 16, very number fine 16. rare bourbon, is a very impressive 82. Ooh. It's a gold. It does not make the board. It does not make the leaderboard, but 82, 85 on the leaderboard. I feel right like now. this score will be controversial because I do, I do, I do I understand. So. I do understand why a lot of folks Without didn't like this. Without difficult our scoring criteria, they, they really didn't like this, really? right? No, they didn't. They didn't really like it as much as I, you know, I think people were expecting. But I think they were expecting something else. Mm. Um, I think they were expecting some variation of Woodford, mm -hmm. uh, like the the familiar flavor profile. Well, but I think what else. a lot of people th said is like, look, if you're blending some of your oldest stock, why are you putting it at such a low proof? I think right. people just wanted more oomph, mm. and I kind of get that, like. Like I'd be, I mean, I don't think it needs a lot more proof. Like I kept yeah, I sitting it and thinking, proof. wow, this is kind of drinking over proof actually. Like I'm getting the flavors in the nose I would expect on a barrel proof, but none of the ethanol obviously. Yeah, I, what I like about this is that they're gonna release the batch proof, right? Yeah. Which is I think the more traditional, and if you're like the traditionalist and, and I think you should go grab that. If you're if you're into like weird and experimental stuff, I mean, this is, this is really unique. Yeah, all right, Jules, take us out. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our podcast on all the major podcast platforms out there. And check out our shirts on, uh, it's not um, Teespring. It's spread <laughs> Come shirts. on, it's spread shirts. <laughs> spread shirts. You have one job and to do. I know, and I fail every time, guys. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. I mean, I, I love this. Don't get me wrong, I'm, but I love Woodford, and and that's the beauty of Woodford to me has always been that you get the spice component. Yeah, and this is just like like I said, I, I think it's like an exposition on that spice component. This is why I had to go back. Yeah, because I forgot right. what this tasted me too. like. Yeah, me too. And after I did this, I said, "Wait a minute, is this Woodford?" This well, is just... hey, look, members get to see that. All right, so let's, let's, go. let's do it. What a tease! What a tease! <laughs>